In this video, we are going to see how to integrate WooCommerce and MailChimp. So let's say you're using WooCommerce and here you want that every time there is a new customer added on this platform so that the same customer should be added as a new member on MailChimp, which is an email marketing software. Now here you can do the same by integrating these two applications and the same can be done using Pabli Connect software. Here your trigger application would be WooCommerce and your action application would be MailChimp. Now how can you do this yourself to understand that? Let me take you to my screen. Now to begin with the process, we are first going to type the URL pabli.com slash connect and as we click on enter, it will take us to the landing page of this software. Here on the right hand side, you can see two options, sign in and sign up for free. If you are an existing user, simply sign in. If you are the new user, then you will have to click on the sign up tab. It will not take more than two minutes. And also at the time of account creation, you will get 100 free tasks. So now I'm going to click on sign in as I'm an existing user here. And as I do that, it will take me to the all applications page. So I'm going to click on Pabli Connect. Why? Because I'm using this particular application for the integration. Now we have reached a dashboard of this application. On the right hand side, you can see a tab create workflow. Let's click on this. And now I have to name my workflow. So I'm going to name it as add WooCommerce customers as MailChimp subscribers. Why? Because uh, my objective is that every time there is a new WooCommerce customer, the same should be added as a MailChimp subscriber. So now I'm going to click on create. So now we have reached another window where you can see two very important events, trigger and action. Triggers and actions are basically those two principles or concepts on which this entire automation works. Trigger is when this happens and action is do this. Basically action is the response of the trigger. So here my trigger application will be WooCommerce. I'm going to click on this. And next is the trigger event. Trigger event is the event that makes your workflow start. So here I'm going to choose as, see my objective is that every time there's a new WooCommerce customer. So my trigger event would be customer created, new customer created. Let's click on this. And now you can see that we have received a webhook URL. So this webhook URL is going to act as a bridge in connecting the two applications. And we have to follow the following steps to set up this connection. So first we have to go to WooCommerce, then on the left side bar we have settings. So now I'm going to take you to my WooCommerce account. So this is my WooCommerce account here on the left hand side, you can see WooCommerce and then we have settings. Let's click on this. So once we are here, we have to go to advanced option. So I'm going to now click on advanced and then here you can see webhooks, right? We can click on this webhook thing. And now as I come down, we have to click on add webhook. So let's click on this. And now here you can see that we have to name our webhook. So let's say it is, I'm going to name it as test webhook and uh, the status here is active then the topics so here you can say a customer created then we have the delivery URL so here you have to paste the URL that we have received so I'm going to copy this go back to WooCommerce and delivery URL so I'm going to paste it here and finally the API version so it has to be the latest v3 and let's click on save webhook so here you can see that the webhook has been updated successfully. Going back to Pabli Connect. So here you can see that once we have saved this webhook thing, we have to capture the webhook response. So now basically what we have to do is we have to do a test submission so that the data can be recorded here in the webhook response. For this, I'm going to take you back to my WooCommerce account. And as I go up here, we can see pages and here you can see all pages. Let's click on all pages here. And now these are all the pages. I'm going to here write registration as I'm going to look for the registration page. So once done, these are the registration pages. Now I'm going to go to this registration page. You can create your own page here. Let's click on view. So once done, this is my registration page. So now I'm going to fill in this information. So the first name here, let's say is demo dummy. Last name here is test one two three then let's say the username is demo test one two three then we have the name of the company so let's say it is Pabli connect 
and then the user email. So let's say it is testing demo at pavlitudes.com. Then we have the user password and the address, address to let's say it is random apartment. And then the mobile number here is so once done this is the country and the zip code now I'm going to click on submit so once done here you can see that the user has been successfully registered going back to Pabli connect let's see if we have received the API response and yes we have done that so this is the date of creation then this is the email ID first name last name then we have the username here, role is customer. If I come down here, we have the name of the company and then the address. So basically we have received all the information. Now I want that once this customer is created on WooCommerce, this should be added as a MailChimp subscriber. So if I go down, I'm going to choose my next application as MailChimp. Let's click on this. Now the action event here would be to add new member with custom fields. Let's click on this and click on connect. Here Pabli Connect is asking to connect itself with MailChimp account. So I'm going to click on add new connection and to set up this connection we need a token and data center. So basically we can receive this token by first logging into our MailChimp account. Once we go there, we have to click on the profile picture, go to extras and API keys. So I've already logged into my MailChimp account. So I'm going to take you there. So this is my MailChimp account. And if I go to the profile icon here, you can see profile. So once we go to profile, then we have extras. Then we have the API keys. And if I come down, this is the API key. So I'm going to copy this, go back to Pabli Connect and paste it here. Then we need the data center. So what is the data center? So when we go to our MailChimp account, the URL here, just after the uh, slash, we have a number US and a number that is our data center. So if I take you to my MailChimp account here, you can see it is US 6. So I'm going to go back to Pabli Connect and write US six now click on save to set up this connection so here the connection has been set now we have to fill in this information so audience list is Pabli connect and now we have to map this information mapping basically means that we already have this information in our previous step of integration now we just need to retrieve it so the email address will be this is testing demo at pablitudes.com. Then we have the tags. If you wish to put a tag, you can do that. Here, select the status of the subscriber. So he has already subscribed. Now the first name would be, let's go to this. This is the first name demo dummy. Then we have the last name. Again, we are going to go here. This is the last name. Then the mobile number. So if I scroll down, so here we can see that this is the mobile number. Once done, let's click on save and send test request. So here you can see that we have received the API response and this basically means that this MailChimp subscriber has been created. So now I'm going to take you back to my MailChimp account. I'm going to quickly refresh this page. And here you can see testing demo at pablitudes.com has been created, which basically means that this entire process is a success. So the first name was demo dummy, last name was test one, two, three. And now we need to also check if this integration, which is now successful, is also successful in real time. For this, I'm again going to go to my WooCommerce page and here I'm going to fill in another registration page. So let's say the first name here is first name. Last name here is last name. And then the username is first last name and then the name of the company is Pabli Connect. Then the user email here is first last at pablitudes.com. Then here we have the user password and once we have this, then we have the address too. So it's say random apartment and then the mobile number here is 91. 
and then I'm going to click on submit. So as soon as we do that here, you can see that the user has been successfully registered, which means the same user should now be added as a contact in MailChimp. So let's go back to MailChimp and here I'm going to refresh this page. So here you can see that this particular user has also been added as a subscriber in MailChimp account. First class at pavlitudes.com. This is the first name, last name, mobile number. So this basically means that this entire integration process is a success. Going back to Public Connect, let's quickly understand what have we done. So this is an extremely easy two-step integration process where the first trigger application was WooCommerce and the trigger event was new customer created. The action application was MailChimp and the action event was add new member with custom fields. I hope this is very much clear to you. In case you have any doubt, you can refer to the workflow. The same workflow is given in the video description. And also you can clone the same workflow to start processing immediately. Apart from this, if you have any advice or suggestion, you can always write to us. I hope this was helpful. To watch more such videos, you can always subscribe to our channel, which is there on YouTube. If you have any queries, you can write to us at forum.pavli.com. And if you want to know our pricing plans, then you can visit us at this particular site. Do not forget to like, share and subscribe if you have liked this video.